y'all. Welcome to another edition of the BTSI Show. I'm your host, Christopher J. Uh, with the narratives that were going on this week, coming from the direction of black women, I'll be perfectly honest with you guys, I almost woke up and chose violence. Twice. Figuratively speaking, of course. But I decided, had I gone down that road, it would make me a hypocrite and it might fall on death ears. So I figure I need to approach this a little bit differently. Matter of fact, I am known to be very diplomatic. So we're going to go down that road and hopefully we see a lot of results. Now, before we go, here's our first ad of the day. Today's episode is brought to you by Brighton Smile. Now, if you're looking to keep your teeth nice and white in between doctor's visits and you're struggling in that area, trust me, you got a friend in Christopher J. Doesn't matter how much toothpaste I be using, it seems like I don't get the, the brightness in my teeth. Don't worry, Bright Smile is here to help you. You know why? Because they do have a premium whitening kit just for you. The links are located in my Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok bio. Once you click the links, it will take you to the Bright Smile website and you will be able to put a kit in your shopping cart. Now, what comes in the kit? It comes with one premium blue and red light teeth whitening device, three whitening pans, one shade scale, and one battery charger. Put a kit in the shopping cart, and once you do, use the promo code BTSI for 25% off. Again, BTSI for 25% off. Uh, black women, I want you to know that I come out of love. I come with peace, but I also want you to know I come with troubling news. Within your community, there's a portion of black women who might be outnumbered, but they are definitely speaking in loud volumes to the point where everyone can hear. There's a subgroup of black women who doesn't have the best interest for the black community. These particular black women, they are not willing to make progress to not only better themselves, but to better the community in general. The narrative about black men has been a lie. Men are doing better back then and they're doing great now. We have numbers to support it. We won't go into the numbers just yet, unless I'm pushed to, but there are numbers to show that black men are single, they are childless, and as far as financial goes, they are in the middle class. They're, the reason why I bring that up, because those statistics, although I haven't revealed them yet, those statistics, disproves the narrative of the black man, which is great and all, but the problem is there's a, like I said, a subgroup of black women who needs to feed off that narrative to justify the possible failures that they have made in their own lives, and they refuse to take accountability for those failures. This, it, this warrants a quote. Now, However you guys feel about this gentleman, it's your prerogative. I ask you to just pay attention to the quote. Accountability will always feel like an attack when you're not ready to acknowledge how your behavior harms others. It's time for people in general, but in this case, that subgroup of black women, they need to start taking accountability for the damage they have done to themselves, that they have done to the family, that they have done to the black community in whole by giving it a bad name. Now, some people are saying, what do women, black women particularly, have to be held accountable for? Like I said, I don't wanna go in details with that right now, but the key year I'm gonna bring up is 1978. I am going to leave it there because we're not here to be combative. I am not here to strike a debate. I'm here to say there is a problem going on within your community and everybody can see it. I'm coming to you in peace because I don't want to come 
out of emotion because I can't describe how angry I feel about some of the narratives that was going on and how that particular subgroup of black women will go to any lengths to silence black men. They'll go as far as to getting a weaker black man or a black boy that's trapped in a man's body. They'll go for them to carry out their agendas to reward them with something that probably has no value. I'm not gonna go in details of what that is because like I said, this is peacetime and I come in peace. Let me take a break real quick just to gather my thoughts a little bit more. Cause like I said, I am upset, but I don't wanna speak out of term and speak out of emotion. So here's another ad and we'll be right back. Today's show is brought to you by FNX. If you're looking to lose weight or gain weight in the most healthiest way possible, or you just need some nice workout gear, FNX is the way you need to go. If you're watching this on YouTube, the link is located in the description section. If you're watching this on social media, the links are located in the caption. Today, let's focus on health and wellness. And today's product we're gonna focus on is apple cider vinegar gummies. Now, let me tell you something. I, I can't tell you, I can't describe to you how much I hate apple cider vinegar because Growing up, I thought it was apple juice. I drank it and I never wanted to do it again. But guess what? I will do it again because number one, the wife says so. And number two, talk about a uh, immune booster that these gummies have. And it helps with your weight management. Like a guy like me, who definitely needs help in that department, you damn right, I'm gonna take some. Oh yes I am, I might get two of these. And guess what? You might get two of those too. Go ahead, fill up your shopping cart. And once you do, use the promo code BTSI for 15% off. Again, BTSI, 15% off. Uh, black women, if you haven't heard this before, let me be the one to tell you. Black women belong to us black men. Let me say that again. Black women belongs to black men and vice versa. The reason why I say that is because of that group of black women who's giving the entire group of black women a bad name, it's causing some men to look elsewhere for love, loyalty, cooperation, support, respect. And the list goes on and on. Like I said in previous videos, I have little to no problem with interracial dating. And the reason why I say little is because there are some guys who date outside the race because they said they can't see themselves marrying within the race. I have an issue with that. I believe I addressed that before on a previous uh, video. That's a form of self-hate and a lot of counseling is gonna be needed. But overall, I have no problem with interracial dating. The reason why I say that is because there's a certain group of women who gets furious when a black man dates outside the race. Not taking accountability that they might be the reason why that particular black man is dating outside the race. Regardless of what the man's reasoning for finding love outside of the village, some black women, that certain group of black women, don't wanna take any accountability that they push their black men away. It goes as far as to say is this. So ladies, can you please check the women, some of the women in your group, because they really, really making it hard. And they're really, really destroying the black community, whether they want to admit it or not. Last ad and we're done for the day. Here you go. The world is opening up and depending where you stay at, the world been open. You're trying to get back out there and you need some lashes? Don't worry, Aubrey Noel got you. That's where you need to go. Home of the sophisticated lashes. When it comes to varieties and personalities, Aubrey Noel is where you wanna to go to. Why? Because each lashes have a different personality. Find the one that best fits you. For example, let me introduce you to Savannah. Now, Savannah is a simple and gentle 
just like the summer day. And there's plenty of women who would like Savannah. If you're Savannah type, go ahead and add Savannah to the shopping cart. We also have Jay, we have Zola, we have Monroe, we also have other different lashes. And not only that, we have accessories to go with your lashes that I think you're gonna like as well. So please go to aubreynoel.com. That's A-U-B-R-E-Y-N-O-E-L-L-E.com. Also follow her on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Well, I, like I said, ladies, I come out of love. I come with peace, but I came with troubling news. I gave you news that I think that you guys need to address amongst yourselves. Now, I'm not necessarily going to put a timetable on when this needs to be addressed. But what I will say is this. Black men, there's some black men who are not going to wait forever. So please address those please address those women that are making it hard for women like yourselves because i i think it's totally unfair that these group of women are making it hard and putting a bad name on black women in general if you will correct those issues us black men will greatly appreciate it all right other than that, people my name is christopher j i will touch you guys later peace out actually one more thing uh, before I forget, I am a new ambassador. For who? Here it is. Mm. That looks nice. That looks good. I like that too. Hmm. Okay, let's do it. And three, two, one.